All right, kids, be on your best behavior. You sure you're okay, bad girl, taking care of all the little kids? She's okay. She's taken care of her brother and sister before. You guys, you worry too much. I've done this before. They're totally going to be okay with me. All right, guys, time to go. We don't want to be late. All right, sweetie, bye. Okay, be safe and don't open the door for anyone. Bye. Be safe. And we're totally going to be bored, too. Mm-hmm. Kitty, Kitty, I have so many things we can do tonight. Movie night, all kinds of fun stuff. Sounds fun. Okay, um, I'll, I'll choose a movie. There you go. Um, not gonna like what I have to say. What do you mean? I need a diaper change. Ew, I knew I smelled something. It's probably me. I need a diaper change too. Oh, that's gross. Mom and Dad could have taken the babies with them. Okay, totally forgot that you guys need diaper changes. Batty, Goody, you're on diaper duty. What? No way! I'm not changing no diapers. I, I don't know how to change diapers. Um, we need some extra help. But I don't think bad girls fit the babysitters. We don't need babysitters. We're big. No, we're not. Okay, whatever. Where's a big sister when you need one? Yeah, where is she? She's right over there. I am not changing those diapers. So, I'm just going to wait for her. Okay, bad girl, hold the fort. I'm going to be gone a few hours. I'll be right back. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not just going to abandon me with these little rugrats. Mom and Dad said we both watch them. You can't possibly expect me to watch them by myself. Party? You can go on one condition. Oh, and what condition is that, little man? To take me with you. <laughs> that is completely impossible. Well, if you're not going to watch us, then I'm going to call Mom. <sighs> okay, fine. I got dressed up for nothing. I don't want to be here all night. There's so many parties to go to. I've been invited to like five parties tonight. Too bad. Don't worry, we're going to have our very own party here. Snacks and a movie. Actually, I was thinking you could make it a little fun for us. Snacks and a movie sounds good, but we have a whole night. I have an idea. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Well, whatever idea it is, it has to come after we do the diaper change. We're waiting. Oh, uh, please don't be a poo-poo. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Oh, no. Fine, I'll help you with the other one. Okay, you put the strap on the other side and the strap on this side. Uh, a little bit of powder. And I think that should be good. Yeah, that's good enough. I have a wedgie. You really aren't professional at diaper changing. Okay, so what did you have in mind? Yeah, better not be something totally crazy. I mean, I want a good review with mom and dad because I want to go cross country with my band, the Supersonics. I'm coming too. So that definitely means we need a good word in with mom and dad. Well, we were gonna say... Boring. Who could that be? What thing what? What day and night? <laughs> well, everyone, my mom and dad dropped me off. Hey, cousin Goody. Hey, bestie baddie. Hey, Masquerade. Yes, there's more of us. So much fun. I didn't know you were coming over. Well, it was kind of last minute. Our parents want to go with your parents. Where's baddie boy? Time to get on with this boring night. Finally, a boy. But, boss, all of you? It's not exactly why you're my best friend, either. Meh, it'll do. Don't be stuck with all these girls. It's okay, whatever. Do you have some gray poop on? Gray poo what? Ah, uh, never mind. Do you have food? I don't know. We probably have something. Caviar? What even is that? Filet of salmon? Nope. Okay, fine. Pizza. Yeah, I can arrange for pizza. You guys want pizza? Mom left some money. We can order them pizza. Okay, I'll go ahead and call Domino's or Pizza Hut. Hi, yes. Can I get a pizza for delivery? One large pepperoni pizza. Okay, thanks. Bye. Let's see, what do we have in the fridge? Hmm. We had food. There's burgers and french fries. I could have just saved that money and split it with Melanie. Oh well. Oh, and we've got ice cream too. Let's see, what kind of ice cream do we have? Strawberry ice cream, yum yum. Okay, I think we've got dessert for tonight. You guys want some popcorn? Sure. So what do you guys want to make with the quay? I don't know, um, maybe a unicorn? I want to stamp stuff. Oh, me too. The wall looks like a good place for that. I think it could use some decorations. It would look so pretty with this ice cream stamp. Yeah, yeah, I think it 
would. It's a good idea. You're so creative, little baddie. I <laughs> know, thanks. Just stamp it all over. Tee <laughs> hee. So pretty. What do you guys think? Wow, little baddie, you're just a regular Pucasso. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, Pucasso. Wow, thanks, guys. Little baddie, little masquerade, little goodie, where are you? <gasps> oh no! <laughs> what did you guys do? Oh my gosh, the wall. Mom's gonna kill me. And I won't get to go with Bad Girl to the concert. Or any parties for that matter. Why did you guys draw on the wall? Stamp. I, I stamped. It's the stampo. The, the little baddie did it. The little baddie did it. Hey, what? Y you guys said I should. Bummo. Whatever. The walls look terrible. Well, I'm highly offended. What happened? We left these munchkins alone and they drew all over the walls. Uh oh. Is it removable? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. I'll go get the towels. Well, here goes nothing. Spray it with some Windex and give it a wipe. Come on. Come off. Is it coming off? I don't know. I don't think it's coming off. Here, let me try. It's just a derpy cheap stamp. It should come off. There you go. Nice and clean. Whew, I was beginning to panic. All right, you little kids. None of that clay stuff or stamper stuff. No art stuff for you guys. Here's a toy. Here's several toys. Um. Yeah, um, I think I'll go with the rainbow thing. Yeah, with the rainbow wings. What even is that? What? You forgot Mr. Dinkles? Okay, you guys play on up. I'm gonna check on the other ones downstairs. Yeah, you guys should be good for hours. Okay, order the game one. Yeah, yeah, the arcade game. And don't forget the snack ball. And, and the hot tub. Okay, okay. And order complete. What are you guys doing? Then <gasps> nothing? Hmm. You seem mighty suspicious. <gasps> Is that a phone you have? Bad girl, they have your phone. Wait, what? Where did you get my phone from? Yeah, uh, uh, I, I found it. Find the skibos. I told her not to do it. Oh man, told her not to do what? Is that the pizza? I don't know. Let me check. Hop on, UPS. I've got a delivery for you. And it does a delivery for uh, an arcade, and it's a snack ball, and a hot tub. Okay, thank you, bye. Whoa, no way. Did you guys actually order those things? What's so funny about that? They probably ordered on the card that was on file. That's your parents' card? Oh, oops. Yeah, so now we've got charges on there and a whole bunch of stuff that we don't need. Oh, yeah, that isn't good. Um, I wish we got a snack ball and an arcade and a hot tub. <laughs> I'm sure our mom and dad would like those things that they can't even fit in. <laughs> Betty, you are in so much trouble. I'm telling mom you did it. I had nothing to do with this. I'm as clean as a whistle. I am being good tonight. I am taking care of you guys. I ordered some food. Being totally responsible. I am not going to lose the opportunity to go to that concert. Yeah, well, you could kiss that goodbye. Because we were supposed to be watching them, and we didn't. Look at it. It's totally amazing. We can just put the little arcade game in our arcade, and we actually have a game. But I think our parents will like it. I'm going to need a card, please. I have one. All right. Whoa, I can sit here too. Whee! So much fun. Just put the cord in. Turn the knob up back and we're flying. Now, snack ball can go over here so you never have to feed us again. Well, not never, but you know we have some snacks. Ooh, yummy popsicles. Uh-huh, and soda pop. And the hot tub can go right here. Ta-da! Who ever heard of a hot tub? Inside of a poo. Actually, a lot of people. It exists. No, it doesn't. It actually does. Don't. Whatever, you guys are still telling mom and dad that you bought those things. Perfect timing. That must be the pizza. Yeah. Hey, pizza. I'm starving. Monkey, you like pizza? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he likes everything. Here we go. Hot, delicious pizza for you. Yum. It looks so tasty. It smells so tasty. Mmm. The best pizza ever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You 
can never go wrong with Pizza Hut. Oh, I ate too much. I have a food coma. Oh, I'm so tired. That was so tasty. They're acting tired now, but those little gremlins will be up and into some kind of problem in just a couple minutes. Yeah, yeah, we have to keep them busy. I have just the idea. Wakey, wakey, it's not sleep time yet. I have the perfect event planned for you guys. Look at all the pencil pouches I packed for you. One for each and every one of you. What? Did you say pencil pouches? What's inside them? Well, let's open one of them and see. So for you, baddie boy, I've got some watercolor paints packed, a number two pencil, safety scissors, a calculator, and crayons. All for you to play with for as long as you like. Until bedtime, that is. What, well, thanks. For you, Bartholomew, I have the Pikachu pencil pouch. <laughs> nice, thanks. For Goody, I have the Sweetheart's pencil pouch. Oh, mine is so cute. For Batty, I've got a little bunny pencil pouch. Bunny pencil pouch? I want something dark and something spooky. Oh, okay, thank you. And for Masquerade, I have a little bunny and panda pencil pouch. Wow, thank you. And I also have some clover wax crayons. They're very expensive and high quality for all of you to share. There's lots of colors in there. Be careful not to draw on the walls like the little sisters, or else I'm taking it all away. I am not cleaning up another wall, and we're not gonna have any more problems tonight, are we? Otherwise, I'll tell mom and dad to get rid of your allowance this month. No, uh, but I won't do anything bad. Okay, my name's Goody after all. I didn't do anything, but my name's Batty, I can't help it. That is a total excuse, Batty. I always see you being good when you want to be. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. Nothing bad from us tonight. All you need are some coloring books and I got plenty of those for you. Yeah, my favorite, I love to color. Here you go. Hmm, let's choose this book. I'm gonna color Moana. I'm gonna give a purple hair. Purple hair book, or I said my Moana. So let's find the purple, it's right here. Okay, then we're gonna color her hair. Purple, Moana's gonna look like a rock star. Yeah, I did amazing, huh, Betty? Yeah, Moana looks fierce. Thanks. Okay, everything's going good. They're having fun, they're busy. Time to relax a little bit. Ew, what's that? I saw it! Ew, 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 ew. Little Betty, I've got pee all over my sock. Oh, I gotta go clean this. This babysitting thing is such a disaster. All right, kiddos, march and march and march up here to the bathroom and brush your teeth, cause it's time for bed, woohoo! Why are you so excited about bedtime? Bedtime means rest time for the big sisters, cause I'm seriously about to faint. All right, brush your teeth. Make sure you get into all the nooks and crannies real well. I don't want mom getting on me about your cavities. Come on, the sooner you finish up, the sooner I can tell you a bedtime story. Ooh, bedtime story, nice, you hear that? I'm not sure I like your tone, Missy. Tone, but me? What tone? I'm already in my pajamas. Fatty boy, you're in your undies. That's embarrassing. What, I always sleep in my undies. Ew, Fatty boy. Yeah, I second that, ew. And I thought that, ew. Whatever, you guys are nothing but a bunch of cotton-headed ninny muggins anyway. <laughs> I can't make it. I'm too short. I need a step stool. Here you go, kiddo. This should help. I'm still on the short side, but that's okay. Okay, so that's how mommy taught me. Take the toothbrush, put on some toothpaste. Just a wee tiny bit goes a long way. And it's just gonna flush it, flush it, flush in my teeth. <laughs> Make sure I don't get any black teeth. No cavities. <laughs> now I can spit. <sighs> Feels minty fresh. Now I don't have to worry about stinky breath. What to do? I don't even need to brush my teeth. My breath naturally smells like poo poo Black smell. No, wait, wait, no, no. <gasps> it must be my poo poo magic. <laughs> All right, everyone settled in? Yeah. 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 
Well, we promised a bedtime story, so I guess we have to do a bedtime story, don't we? Yeah, yeah, of course. We can't go to bed without a story. Yeah, like, totally. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a story, and it's a very classic fairy tale story. No, no fairy tales, no! Yay, fairy tales! I don't want a fairy tale. I want a scary story. No, fairy tale's good. I want a fairy tale. Me too. Um, yeah, that, that's a hard pass for me. I want a scary story. Okay, but you're not waking me up tonight. Whoever is scared has to deal with it themselves. We won't. Yeah, we won't. I told you we won't. Yeah, we're okay. Well, I'm warning you in advance. This story is called Creepy Pair of Underwear. What? Creepy pair of underwear? My underwear's not creepy. You're just trying to make fun of me, huh? <laughs> creepy pair of underwear? Yes, creepy pair of underwear. With pictures! Jasper Rabbit needed new underwear. On Thursday, Mom took him to the underwear store and grabbed the last three packages of plain white. But as they headed for the checkout, Jasper spotted them. Creepy underwear! So creepy, so comfy. Mom, Mom, can we get these? Jasper pleaded. I think they're a little too creepy, said Mom. They're not creepy, they're cool, said Jasper. I'm not a little bunny anymore, I'm a big rabbit now. Mom agreed to buy one pair. That night, Jasper wore his cool new underwear to bed. Do you want me to leave the hallway light on, asked Dad. Dad, I'm not a little bunny anymore, said Jasper. I'm a big rabbit now. Dad shut the door, and that's when Jasper noticed. The underwear glowed. A ghoulish, greenish glow. <laughs> My underwear doesn't glow. He closed his eyes. He pulled up the covers. He buried his face in his pillow, but it didn't help. He could still see that ghoulish, greenish glow. Jasper leaped out of bed and Put on a pair of plain white. He stuffed the creepy underwear into the bottom of his laundry hamper. But when he got up the next day, he was wearing the creepy underwear. Jasper threw them into the garbage can. He was still a big rabbit. He wasn't scared or anything, but he was done with scary underwear. After school, Jasper was doing his homework when he heard it. A scratchy, scraping sound coming from his dresser. He opened the drawer and... They were back, staring at him with that ghoulish, greenish glow. He snatched the creepy underwear out of the drawer. He grabbed a big envelope and some stamps. Bye-bye, scary underwear, he said, dropping the package in the mailbox. When he opened the front door the next morning, there they were. And were those chopsticks? His creepy pair of underwear had somehow returned from China, and it had brought back souvenirs. <laughs> what are they doing back? Jasper grabbed his mom's good sewing scissors. She didn't like him using them, but this was an underwear emergency. Uh-oh. This time, the creepy underwear were gone for good. <laughs> At bedtime, he slowly opened his underwear drawer. Nothing, just plain white undies. He searched under his bed. He shook out his lampshades. Whew, there was no sign of creepy underwear. He went into the bathroom to comb his ears. They were back. What's the matter with you, his mom asked. You're so jittery lately. Nothing, he yelped. A grown rabbit couldn't be terrified of his underpants. He seized the underwear. He snagged a shovel from the garage and he rode. He didn't stop pedaling until he reached Creek Hanger Hill. Jasper began to dig. He dug until the hole was dark and deep and 100% underwear proof. He dropped the underwear in. They gleamed from the bottom. That ghoulish greenish glow. But not for long. Woohoo! When he got home, Jasper crept up to his dresser. They couldn't be in there. There was no way, right? He reached for the handle. He peeked in. Nothing, just plain white. Jasper smiled and turned out the light. Hey, why is it so dark in here? He turned out the light. There was just one problem. It was really dark in there, even for a big rabbit. Jasper turned on the light. He looked at his non-glowy pair of plain white, and he knew what he had to do. The creepy underwear were a little muddy, but they still filled the room with that gentle greenish glow. The next day, Jasper gathered his allowance money and went to the underwear store all by himself, just like a big rabbit. Oh yeah. That night, Jasper wasn't scared at all. As he lay down to sleep, he smiled, and so did his underwear. 
because they had finally found someone who wasn't scared of creepy underwear. The end. I want to have creepy underwear. I want some creepy underwear too. Well, I'm so really frightened. Why would you go and tell a story like that? <clears throat> I mean, tell is not scary at all. All right, guys, time to tuck in. Night, night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Or do. Whatever you want. Time for a break for Big Sister. Toodles. Good night, guys. That story was totally not scary. Yeah, totally not scary. Okay, um, so I guess we should uh, go to sleep now. Put me on the wall. Why'd you do that, Betty? Betty! <laughs> Good night!